Hello friends, welcome to the course on C programming. In this section of video, we'll cover conditional statement available in the C programming. There are multiple statements under the category of conditional statement. We have already covered if statement in the last video. Now we'll cover if else statement in this video. This is a very simple and I'm sure you'll have fun learning it. First, we'll have a syntactical understanding of if else statement. Then we'll try to understand the syntax pictorially using flowchart. And at the end, we'll have a small program to demonstrate how the if else statement is used in C programming. The syntax of if statement is very simple. With if statement, within these two round braces, we specify a condition. As we have seen in our last lecture, condition can result into either true or false or yes or no. Now if the condition is true, it will enter into the body of if statement. Over here it is represented as block A within these two braces. So if the condition is true, it will execute block A and then it will skip this else part and it will directly jump to block C. So if the condition is true, block A and block C. But if the condition is false, it will not go into this body, it will directly go to else part, so it will execute block B and then block C. So if I summarize again, condition true, block A, block C, condition false, block B, block C. So this is the case with condition true, block A, block C. This is the case with condition false, block B, block C. Now let us see a flowchart. So first we specify the condition that we had with if statement. So there are two options, either it results into true or false. If the condition is true, then block A and then block C. But if the condition is false, then block B and block C. Now let us take a small program to check how if else statement works. In this program, we are reading marks from the keyword. We are continuing the program that we have seen in our last if statement video. So we have one variable m which will hold the value of marks. First we are asking user to enter the marks and the marks which are entered from keyboard that will be hold by that will be held by the variable m. Then we are checking if m is greater than or equal to 35 as we know it can result into true or false. So if it is true it will go into this body of if statement which is nothing but block A. But if it is false, it will skip this body of if statement, it will skip block A and it will jump to block B. And in both these cases, either block A or block B, at the end it will come to block C. And over here we have written by. Now let us see how the program behaves when we run it. So if I run the program and if I enter the marks 89 it will ask me to enter the marks and if I enter 89 this 89 will go in variable m then it will check 89 is greater than or equal to 35 yes it is 89 is greater than 35 so it is true in that case it will go into block a and then block c so it will print pass and then it will print by in next line so we'll have output pass and by but if I run the program again and if I enter another value let's say 29 here so then it will check 29 is greater than or equal to 35 no it is false so in that case it will skip this block a it will jump to else part it will execute block b that and then it will execute block c so it will first print fail and then in next line it will print buy I have taken a couple of assignments over here for if else statement though I'm not going to explain I'm leaving uh, to you as your homework so you can pause the video later and check how the program works I've taken uh, I've put complete program along with some sample outputs and the first program is all about reading a number from keyboard and printing whether the number is odd or even There are some sample outputs available. You can pause the video and check it later on. And another example 
a bit more complex though very simple is about reading a leap year from key, uh, reading a year from keyboard and to check whether it is leap year or not so you can google if you do not know what is leap year you can google and find it out what exactly a leap year is i have written the statement over here just to explain uh, which can be considered as leap year this is an example where we are combining multiple conditions together and there are some sample outputs so thank you friends hope you have a clear understanding of if else statement in my next video we'll see nested if else statement until then enjoy c programming